Most of the nerve endings associated with the female orgasm are on the surface of the vulva and do not need penetration in any way to be aroused to orgasm. In many nations, people have increasingly used sex toys like pornographic content and vibrators during foreplay. Icelanders are the people who are most likely to be using vibrators during foreplay, followed by the British and Norwegians. Certain societies consider oral sex a normal form of sexual pleasure and foreplay. Other societies consider it disgusting or evil in nature, especially in much of the Western world, industrialized regions of Asia, and islands of the South Pacific where oral sex is popular. By contrast, parts of Africa consider oral sex to be extremely unnatural, and numerous religions perceive oral sex as evil. Research has discovered that the most mind-blowing sex is associated with being in love with your partner. Men who assist with house chores are also likely to have more sex. The United States has more laws controlling sexual activity than all the European countries combined. Research has found that 100% of women and 95% of men surveyed perceived touching as the primary method by which they knew that their partner desired to have sex. In the survey of 40,000 men, 90% of the people who participated reported that what they found the sexiest was when a woman took sexual initiative. Almost 75% admitted that a woman is unattractive when she applies excessive makeup. Foreplay is not only about bodies, someone can create a more sensual environment by decorating a home or an apartment with attractive colors, flowers, and candles. For many women, foreplay is crucial to orgasm, just 30% of women are able to achieve orgasm with intercourse alone. According to research, foreplay is to sex what stretching is to a workout, simple to skip but necessary to achieve great results. One man declared six consecutive orgasms with a reduced volume of semen in less than 40 minutes. Orgasms have been reported by stimulation following male-to-female or female-to-male transgender surgery. People who are under the influence of psychedelic substances have reported non-genital orgasms. People who have orgasms usually look like they are in discomfort. In fact, during orgasm, two of the brain parts that are triggered by pain are also stimulated, possibly accounting for the unusual resemblance of facial expressions. Scientists have no idea how the brain differentiates between pain and pleasure. Any act that develops and stimulates sexual desire in a sexual partner, including kissing, hugging, touching, and speaking, can initiate foreplay. Its meaning is flexible and relies on someone's sexual preferences. Recent Australian research indicated that most women are more stimulated by the concept of foreplay than by intercourse itself. While the period it takes to attain orgasm varies for different individuals, the duration of the orgasm itself is more similar. In certain research, women's orgasms lasted 18 seconds on average, whereas men's sexual experiences lasted approximately 22 seconds. Research has found that approximately 15 to 20 percent of United States women have never experienced an orgasm. Multiple factors determine just how long an orgasm will last, including age, long absence of sex, type of stimulation, and whether the orgasm is caused by masturbating or intercourse. Research has found that 85% of men claimed that their partner had an orgasm, yet just 64% of their female partners claimed to have an orgasm, creating what certain sexologists call an orgasm gap. After a man has an orgasm, there is a period of reluctance when they cannot have another orgasm, however, some men may have numerous orgasms. The recharge time varies depending on age, sexual partner, and sexual experience. Naturally, the length of an orgasm can decline as a person gets older. There you have it. Which of these facts do you resonate with? Please share with us in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more.